In this video, I'm showing a faster way to use the show run commands on Cisco networking equipment. Just to give a demonstration on why this is useful, I have a 2960 switch here, and I'm going to say show run, and you'll see that when I hit enter, there's a small pause here. And that pause wasn't very long for a couple of reasons, one being that this is a non-production lab switch with no traffic on it, and the other reason being that this particular model never makes you wait very long anyways. But this delay gets a lot worse whenever you're in a busy production network with a lot of traffic and a lot of features running on the hardware, and especially using models such as the Catalyst 3750 or 6500. Today, Junior! So I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen here. And the best way that I've found to get around that delay is to first write your startup config, and then instead of using the command show run, we'll use show conf. And as soon as I hit enter, you'll see that the config is output to the console here. And this command works just like show run, so if you hold down the space bar, it will take you all the way to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen here again. And just to share a few other helpful commands here that work with either show run or show conf. I'll type show conf pipe begin interface space capital F fast. And just to stop here for a second, this is case sensitive, which is kind of annoying, but that's how it works. So the result of this command is that it will skip everything else and take us to the interface configuration section of the config. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and you'll see that it starts with interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, and we can continue to spacebar through the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and clear screen here again, and I'm just going to share one other handy output modifier here. That is the section command. To use that, I'm going to type in show conf pipe section. And the way to think of a section is anything that's indented in the config. So just to give an example, I'm going to type in line here. So the output of this command is that it includes everything with the word line in it, and it also includes these sections where you have the indented values that further add commands to, in this case, a VTY line. So this command is really useful for if you ever want to jump to specific parts of the config that have these indented values, such as OSPF configs or access lists. So that wraps up this video. Hit the like button if it was helpful, and thanks for viewing.